Hey y'all, welcome to 2021. Um, this is my first video of the year and I'm super excited to be sharing this with you. So I wanted to take you on a tour, I guess you could say, of my pantry, my fridge and freezer, and I have just finished meal prep. So I'm gonna show you what I've done for the week as far as meal prep goes so you can kind of get an idea of what that's gonna look like week to week of course it varies based on the meals but i want to give you guys an idea of what i'm eating so i am high carb low fat vegan i have done this since january the first in the first week i lost 4.9 pounds which is insane to me um i have pcos and a lot of other things so that weight loss was just awesome and i'm excited to keep going so just want to give you guys a little bit of update so everything you will be seeing is vegan um High carb, like I said, low fat. I'm doing the Eat More Way Less program by High Carb Hannah and Plentiful Kiki. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm also going to walk you through it and talk you through it. But the pantry, while being a walk in, is kind of tight. So I'm also just going to insert some video footage um, of things that I want to give you a little bit more close up on. So come on in. So this is my pantry. Like I said, it's kind of a walk in. The lighting is not the best. We're gonna just work with it, okay? So starting from this side, I have my dog food and dog treats and stuff in here, but this is what I call my Asian cuisine basket. So this has several different size rice noodles, panko breadcrumbs, extra soy sauce, um, rice paper sheets, nori, sushi rice, um, rice flour, simmer sauce that's coconut, uh, green curry paste. <laughs> red curry paste so all of my asian products are in there except for what i have in the fridge currently this basket is extra pastas and then i also have some sun-dried um tomatoes for like a topping of pasta and then i have some gnocchi this is the uh, chickpea pasta and i haven't actually tried that yet this basket is mostly my snack basket this is all popcorn except for this falafel mix because i didn't know where else to put it um so there's just a bunch of different kind of popcorns in here and then some black truffle sea salt these are when i'm really in a pinch and instead of going out and getting something unhealthy or you know high fat i can grab for something like this so this has some of dr mcdougall's um right foods is what they're called so spring onion soup there's a black bean a split pea all kinds of those and then lots of these um vegan organic ramens um, and they're made from heirloom grains the noodles are so they're not just like your typical ramen noodles so in here like on this side I have different kinds of tomatoes so no salt uh, fire roasted garlic tomatoes tomato sauce crushed tomatoes all the tomato things I have some canned black beans I keep some cannellini beans red beans all the beans some corn some soups and a can of pineapple the next basket is going to be some of my grains or most of them. I also keep my nutritional yeast right here just because it fits well and it's easy to get to. I have some red lentils in this mason jar. I don't use lentils so too much so far, so I don't have a lot. I have some quinoa. I have some bulgur wheat, which I just used. Dried pinto beans. Uh, brown lentils, wild rice, dried red beans, spaghetti noodles, elbow macaroni, and a bunch of arborio rice, which is risotto rice. Um, so that's what these two are. On the bottom shelf, I keep onions and garlic in this little just plastic container. And then usually any leftover potatoes that aren't cooked would go in here. And then any corn squash, and I just have this old sweet potato as well. Most of my potatoes, though, I cook at the beginning of the week just to make them easy. This is the breakfast bin. So this has oats, my husband's peanut butter, stone ground grits, quick grits, and some protein that hasn't been used in forever. So I have some goji berries, dates, raw cashews, just some dried fruit, and then also some random... Um, decaf black tea for like sweet tea because it's the south i don't drink it but my husband does this next part is going to be a little tricky to get in like i said so on top i have my first baking basket this one is really full 
So this has stuff as you would assume to bake with. So I have vegan egg replacer, vegan chocolate chips, cocoa powder, brown sugar, all the vegan baking stuff, extra maple syrup, vegan marshmallows. This is just some coconut sugar, cornmeal, regular sugar, some yeast packets. This is all purpose flour. I don't know how much I just had it in there and some unsweetened applesauce. The next thing, and I think the thing that stands out the most about my pantry are these four massive jars. These were $7.99 at Old Time Pottery. They look beautiful, they work well. So I just have, this is regular um, jasmine rice, brown rice. I will probably fill that with more black beans. I don't know, it's just kind of a placeholder for now. These are dried beans. And then that is actually bread flour. This basket is for extra jarred goods. So spaghetti sauce, salsa, roasted red peppers, artichokes, mustard, those kind of things. Then I have an extra basket for all of my needs that I know I will fill this pantry with. And then these have like lunch boxes because I used to go to work back before COVID. <laughs> um, and just some other miscellaneous items. So that is the pantry. So this is my fridge and freezer, obviously. This is a double door fridge with the bottom freezer drawer. I didn't pick out this fridge. It was here with the house. Fridges are expensive. Not gonna switch it out just cause I don't love it. Um, but I do realize how fortunate I am to have such a big fridge. So like I said, I just finished meal prepping for the week and I'm gonna walk you through all of that. So on the left hand door, we have cheese sauce. Um, this is pretty much like essential. I feel like this is the high carpana plentiful kiki recipe from their lean for life cookbook and i have that jar and then this is not marinara it's just recycled jar and some leftover cheese sauce maple syrup always um this is just some like random i don't know condiments toppings my cat frodo decides that he needs to be in this this is some random condiments and toppings. This is a massive thing of chunky salsa because we love salsa. And then this is a club soda, a, what are these, Chopo, Chopo Chico's? I don't know. A tonic water with lime and some aloe vera because I live in Florida and I'm a redhead and I burn pretty much by walking outside. So let's go ahead and go to the right side of the fridge. So we have more sauces and condiments. Um, these are all my vinegars minus white vinegar and then picante because you know, again with the salsa, apple cider vinegar, balsamic vinegar, which I have a bunch more in my pantry, not pantry, spice cabinet, red wine vinegar, seasoned rice vinegar, and more soy sauce. This is like barbecue sauce and other, okay, there's a lot of condiments. Let's just be real. And the shelf that gets used the most in this house is the Asian condiment shelf. So this is Yondu, which is an all purpose seasoning um, liquid. You can buy it on Amazon. Mommy Tang from YouTube turned me on to this. It's incredible to make broth with. Sweet chili sauce because obviously. Soy sauce in this little bottle because it's more convenient than trying to get a little bit of soy sauce out of this. So we have it in a little squirt bottle. Um, teriyaki sauce, poison sauce, duck sauce. I don't eat this, my husband does. And then also something that hadn't got used in a while is this chili oil. And I mean, you need like one drop and mix it with your fork. This fridge doesn't have a water filter on the front. So we have this big old water filter. The best way to store your herbs, so I was told, was in a little water with a baggie over the top. And this parcel has been in here for over a week and it looks brand new. Um, this is a large version of this Synergy Guava Goddess Kombucha. It is the best kombucha. Just take my word for it. There's also some apple cider, like apple juice in the back. I don't really drink that. That was for recipe and I haven't used it. So, will it get used? I hope so. I have a couple different kinds of soy milk in here. This is a Oatly um, Oat Milk Barista Edition. So it's like a creamer. Don't really drink too much coffee, but we like tea and we like this in it. Um, unsweetened coconut milk. And then cult favorite, the West Organic Unsweetened Soy Milk. So that's the beverages. 
oh there's more and then I have sparkling waters of all varieties these are just some from Target I really like these sparkling water if you are addicted to soda in my opinion is the best way to stop it is to wean yourself off because it still has that carbonation um, it's got some flavor to it no calories though it works for me I love it this is the corn chowder from the lean for life cookbook so this is technically four servings um, so this will be one dinner and this will be one dinner for my husband and I these are vegetable prep so I eat broccoli and steamed potatoes every single morning for breakfast um, during the week so Monday through Friday so there is a broccoli container Monday through Friday I'll take the broccoli out put it in my steamer in the microwave call it done back here there's some cabbage just ready to go these cucumbers I will either just eat as they are or take some soy sauce rice vinegar and sesame seeds on it eat it like cucumber salad these are pomegranate seeds that took me over 30 minutes to take out with the pomegranate it was not a good time then and this container is all of my steamed potatoes for the week i went with red potatoes this week i just really like how sweet they are and for breakfast i'll either air fry them slice them up and microwave them and put some balsamic vinegar um i'll eat them as a snack just gotta have potatoes this container has these reusable plastic containers yes there's plastic we're not perfect we're working towards it um, these are potato salad again from the lean for life cookbook this is a recipe of my own that will be coming soon this is an oil-free tabbouleh that I made yes yes and then some steamed rice for the week so basics this one has a couple of like salad mix in so this is some kale or could be for soup and then I have my salad greens this was some leftover arugula so I just popped it in this container and a massive thing of organic spring mix this was like three dollars and something um, at my local wholesale club so we love that in the fruit drawer we have mint there's some other dill thyme in here yes plastic we're working on it we do what we can there's some ginger root in here lemons limes massive container strawberries so what I've done this week is these strawberries are actually already washed and they um, have been done with a produce wash and then I just drain them and put them in the fridge so I can grab them and go and then I have some organic blueberries just two packages of those and then in the fruit, uh, the vegetable drawer, these have also been washed and dried with produce wash. Bunch of zucchini, couple of squash, couple extra cucumbers that I didn't chop up, leftover broccoli, some Brussels sprouts and carrots. And then this is a fun drawer. So I have a massive thing of mushrooms on the top. My husband loves mushrooms. So any way that I can incorporate mushrooms, we do leftover mushrooms. I have more of these containers. I have three um, better than bullions here. I was given a couple and already had some. Gochujang, uh, miso paste, miso paste, geez. Uh, what is, is that what it's called? Soybean paste. And then some red curry paste, Thai basil vegetable dumplings. We have two things of Nasoya extra firm tofu that's organic. And then I have some also vegan wonton wraps and then one of my favorite things right now is some sauerkraut and this is just fresh sauerkraut this is called el sriracha sauce it's from a local a vendor who makes vegan tamales grillos dill pickles and some cashew queso from siete spicy blanco and before we hop into the freezer i want to take you to this little corner of my kitchen um so in this basket i have some tomatoes and then also this big bag of apples and i've again went ahead and washed these in some produce wash dried them and put them up so whenever i'm feeling hungry they're just already there and that produce wash got the wax off it was incredible to watch <laughs> and then i also have some super green bananas here that are just ripening up 
And then if I don't eat all of these, um, this was $1.39 for this whole thing. If I don't eat all of these, then they will end up in the freezer for a banana ice cream or smoothies. So let's hop into the freezer. So on the left, I have some frozen um, turnip greens that I cut myself and I just froze turnip roots. Um, these are some tomatoes, some veggie broth. I, these are vegetable ends for broth. Green beans, we have some tortillas, edamame, all that. Those are vegan tamales. Then in the top drawer, these are hemp seeds, flaxseed meal, frozen fruit, bananas. These are the blender pancakes from High Carpana that I've just made a bunch ahead and put in the freezer so I can grab and go. Some more vegetable broth and then a ton of pecans because we live in the South and we had a bunch of pecans, my family did. I have some recipes for those. And then chia seeds, two kinds of um, sesame seeds, and then ice. All right, and the last thing I wanted to tell you is that I keep all of my seasonings and spices on the side of my fridge. These containers are from Amazon. I'd be happy to do a whole video on dedicated spices and seasonings and how I use all of them, and I do have some more in this cabinet as well. But I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching my first video of 2021. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.